Hi there, once again welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to create this advanced photo manipulation technique using Photoshop. So this is the original image and then we're going to create some hole within the head of this photo. So I'm going to walk you through everything step by step with no steps skipped. So remember to subscribe to this your first time visiting my channel and also don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. So let's jump into action and see how to do this so i'm actually going to close this and then i'm going to bring my images back to photoshop so i have two images here i'm going to use i'm going to drag this image first so this is the image we're going to use and then i'm also going to bring a broken pot okay so these are the two images we're going to merge together in order to achieve this result so First of all, I'm going to zoom in on this so that you can see exactly what we're going to use. So we're going to create that broken part. We're going to use it on top of this image to create some hole within the head. Now let's look at how. To, so let's see what we can do over here. So now we need to first select the part, move it from here, and then also place it on top of this image. So we we'll go ahead. Let's go to our tool, and then we're going to use the quick selection tool. Select that so you can press the W key on your keyboard to use the quick selection tool and then make sure you are using the one with the plus and now you can just select on top of this and then let's select what our port so i'll do that and then the port is well selected now i'm going to move it on top of this so go back to your tool and pick the first tool that's the move tool and then we'll move it on top of this so this is where we want to bring our port so let's just enlarge this to fit on top of the head now before that we want to see the head through the port so let's go ahead and then reduce the opacity of this port okay so i'm going to reduce the opacity this way and i'm still going to zoom in on this so you see what exactly is happening so i've reduced the opacity of this port and then i'll make sure i will position this this is well positioned i'll just drag this and then you can rotate it as well and then make sure you get the exact result you want to i'm just going to this until i'm comfortable with what i want to achieve now i feel i'm comfortable with this and what i'll do is i'm going to ap apply layer marks to this particular port so select it and then go down here and then just add a layer marks now we want to paint around this image and then just leave where we have the hole so select your layer marks the layer marks is selected and then from your two panel we're going to use the brush tool select the brush tool and then we're going to use we're going to make sure that the hardness is what zero and then for the softness or for the size you can actually add for the size you can adjust it the way you want to and then we can paint on that you can also use the square bracket the right to increase and then the left to reduce it so we can start painting and then get rid of the dark part of this pot okay so you just have to take your time and then just play with that in order to get the effect you want to so you can equally reduce the size of your brush whilst you keep painting okay uh, easily reduce the size of your brush whilst you paint on this so i'm going to play with this until I get something very very comfortable so if you made any mistake you can equally undo that and then keep painting right on this just paint around on this on the edges just to get rid of the dark part so you can take your time and then make sure you get this perfectly as you want so you can easily go back and then move the opacity to 100% and see how this is going to look like so as you can see this is actually taking shape and i'm going to undo this a bit i have this place so i don't want to fade this too much so I'll just play around with this just play with this until you're comfortable with your results okay i think what i've done so far is exactly what i want so let me just move the opacity back to 100 percent and let's see what we've done we can just zoom out on this and just zoom out on this and you can see what we've done so far this is actually very perfect 
if you want to just improve on this you can still go ahead and then work on this okay you can easily go ahead and then keep improving until you get something so i still want to get rid of the dark part of this particular broken pot so i can just move my cursor around that just get rid of the dark part of this pot to make this look more professional and i think i'm okay now i can move my opacity back to 100 percent i think this is okay and i think this is exactly what i want like subscribe for more of my videos and also don't forget to comment and share this video with friends there's a lot coming more techniques more strategy more professional content programming tips and tricks it tips and tricks so remember to keep our let turn on the post notification so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials so this is exactly what we want to achieve it's quite very easy and it's just a simple photo manipulation technique and i'm going to be doing a lot with you i'm going to share a lot with you so stay tuned on this channel and till i come away again always visit my channel and happy new year in advance bye bye